Hello friends, this video on crop production and management part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now just now we talked about agriculture. Now you might uh, be interested to know how did agriculture evolve? How this entire concept of agriculture came into picture? So let us see how this concept of agriculture started. So if we look back into our history, we see that our ancestors how did they get food? So there was no cultivation long time back. So how they used to obtain their food was primarily by hunting. So they used some man-made stone weapons which had sharp ends and with that they killed other animals and ate them directly. I mean there was no process of cutting them into pieces and then frying or roasting and using spices. So all those things were not there that time. So they directly used to hunt animals and feed on them. So that was one way they used to obtain food. Another way was eating fruits, so raw fruits. So these were some of the ways through which they obtained or they obtained food for themselves and that's how they survived. But with time, they learned to cultivate land and produce crops. And that is what we do today. So over a period of time, so they gradually learn better things, better ways of growing crops. So thereafter came different crops like wheat, rice, etc. And that's how we have reached today where we have a variety of fruits and vegetables and cereals and they are all being cultivated by agriculture. So this is how the concept of agriculture started. So it was not that from the very initial days, the, the concept was there, but gradually over a period of time, people started learning things. So even if you see today, now also, there are so many improvements which are continuously happening because the population is increasing very rapidly. So the crop production also needs to increase. So new techniques are coming with time and better techniques, faster techniques, more efficient techniques have been put into place to make agriculture better to increase the crop productivity. So that way this improvement is a continuous process and it keeps happening all the time. So this is how agriculture evolved. So now let us start understanding the three important steps or the three important focus of ours in this lesson. So we are going to talk about crop yield, crop production, crop improvement. So everywhere you see a common word and that is crop. So now our little friend might be curious to understand what exactly is a crop. So everywhere we find the word crop. So what is a crop? So crop is a plant that is grown on a large scale commercially. Now if you have just one plant growing in your garden, so you do not say that I am having, I am cultivating a crop because that is not called a crop. So the word crop is used only when the same plant is grown on a very large scale. What do we mean by large scale? That means large number of the same plant are being grown on a commercial scale. For example, in your house, you might grow one tomato plant because maybe you want to have tomatoes which are growing in your own garden. So you have just one tomato plant. So you will not say that I am cultivating tomato. That's, that is not the right sentence because crop is only used when multiple tomato plants are being grown for a commercial purpose. So maybe when hundreds and thousands of tomato plants are being grown on a field, maybe it can be said that okay, tomato crop is being cultivated in this field. So basically one plant is will always be called a plant but when you have hundreds of the same plant being grown for commercial purpose because you see when you have thousands of tomato plant growing on a field like this it is definitely for it is definitely not for the use of one family it is for a huge mass of people so it is a commercial production of tomato so then it is called a crop so i hope you understand what, what, what is a crop and when do we use the term crop now, just for your information, the part of the tomato which we eat, so this is what we eat, right, the red colored tomato. So what is that? That is nothing but the fruit of the tomato plant. So every plant will have fruit, they'll have flowers, 
right so they are different parts of the plant so the fruit of the plant of this plant is tomato and tomato is something which is eaten by us so we basically eat fruit of the tomato plant so now we will talk about the different types of crops there are many different types of crops which are being cultivated for example pulses also fall under the category of crop like gram pea black gram green gram lentils i'm sure you would have seen all these stored in uh, the boxes inside your kitchen because we eat all of them in different forms maybe in the form of chole or maybe in the form of dal so there are many different ways we we eat each of these but they all form pulses we have cereals like wheat, rice, maize, millets. So these are all cereals. So here you can see some of the sample of these cereals. We again have some oil seeds. These oil seeds are also, they are a good source of proteins. For example, groundnut, castor, soya bean, sesame, lean seed. Now why are they called oil seeds? Because these seeds are very rich in oil. And that is why oil is also extracted from these seeds. And that is how we get castor oil, we get uh, the mustard oil, groundnut oil. So these, all the oils are the refined oil. So, so many different types of oils are used for cooking purposes. So these oils are actually obtained from the seeds which are rich in oil. And these are examples of some of those seeds. Vegetables, a lot of vegetables are there which are again cultivated as part of crop. Fruits apple, tomato, or if you talk about uh, banana, pineapple, so they are all fruits. So a variety of fruits, vegetables, pulses, cereals, and oil seeds, they are all examples of crops. So they all fall under the category of crops when they are grown on a commercial scale. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.